and then we're going to add a little lateral movement to the dragonfly. So over towards your right leg, just lean over a little bit and use your hands to support yourself. Doesn't have to be a full on side bend, just a little lateral shift, leaning over towards the right. Ground your hands, relax your legs, connect with your breath and your body. Connect with your heart. All of it is part of us. Taking about 10 breaths on each side, gently lengthening in the low back. Three more times. Completely relaxing the muscles. Last time, let your breath stretch you a little bit. Breathe deeply into the last breath. And breathe out, squeeze into the center. A mindful and slow letting go so you don't disturb the work that you just did. Try and center again, recommit to softening. And a little lean over towards the left. I'm just stacking both my hands on the inside of the left leg for some support. Just find a nice sense of a little length in your low back, the backs of your legs, where a lot of our energy lines flow. Your eyes can close, start to be soft. Whatever brings you most silence in your brain. Gentle sound, even waves of breath through the nose. Three more times, slowly, softly. Complete one more breath. And carefully release yourself back to center, pausing. And then folding your legs into easy pose. With mindfulness, take your most comfortable way today. Not the most challenging, but the most comfortable. So fold yourself in, rest your hands on your legs. Sit up tall, creating strength in the low belly, toning it towards the spine. Activating yourself, breathing deeply. And take your fingertips to the center of your forehead and sit tall. Stretch your fingers out to your temples and down your chin line to together at your heart rest in. with your intention behind it, humming, saying om, or just listening. Um. I'm taking your Arms up and coming behind your skull with your hands, letting your fingers interlace back there. We're going to do a little bit of a stretch of the neck. Bring your head forward, bring your chin towards your chest. Gently let your hands assist that stretching the back of the neck. And if it feels okay to curl forward, just rounding everything as deeply as it feels good. Stop where you Need to stop and hold for five. So we're trying to release tension at the base of the neck, base of the head, I mean. Mm. 
One more breath into that roundness, into that flexion. Rise up, pressing your head into your hands to release to heart lifting position, fingers forward, hands back, lean back. Stretch across the front of your chest and shoulders and gently lift your chin with a downward gaze. Breathe. You can also reach your knees towards the earth to stretch out the front of the hips. Oh yeah, lifting chin. Long neck, one more breath. And release to your center again. Right ear towards the right shoulder. Take the right hand up and gently place a little weight on the head, just very light. The head resists as much as the hand has weight to it. Slowly, one more time, really slowly, just trying to release tension. Release with slowness. Take the other ear to the shoulder, shoulders relaxing down. Lightly rest the hand on your skull. Three, five times, soften. Coming into the now. The first word of the Yoga Sutras by Patanjali, now. And one more exhale, complete. Release carefully to center. And take one more um, position here, taking your trapezius muscles with your hands. So bring your hands on either side of your neck with your fingers towards the back. And slide your fingers over the top and onto the back of your body a little bit and give a little squeeze or a little squeeze and release a few times. Just trying to release any tension at the base of your neck and your upper back. Sitting tall with your core engaged. And just take one more slow breath to explore that work. And release a few figure eights, infinities with your hands and wrists. Then interlace, press up, breathe in. And breathe out to easy twist to the right. Just the right amount, looking back, gazing back, breathing deeply, grounded in the low belly center. Just the right amount in each position for your body. That's a compassionate choice. So we keep the work positive. And about one more breath. Exhale, navel towards the spine. Inhale to center. Reconnect to your seat and your foundation. Opposite interlace, breathe in, press up. Breathe out, easy twist, left side. Look back, twist. You're reaching across hand, develops the depth of your twist. Find a place where it feels like you can release tension as you breathe. Fourth breath, inhale. Last time. Exhale, navel towards the spine and return to center. Finding your way to your feet. Um, boat pose. Jump back, tucking your feet, hands forward, legs back. Come to your hands and feet and work your way up. Rise and reach. And exhale, Samasthiti, standing even pose for a moment. So, Atha Yoga Anusasanam. Now, 
begins the study of yoga. Sun salutations, just keeping them simple today. First position, reaching up, breathing in. Second position, breathing out, slowly folding forward. So let the movement match the breath. Inhale to halfway lift. I, I think I probably have a pretty consistent rhythm here. So you know, exhale slowly, go down and take back your legs, add a little elbow bend. Inhale energy to upward facing dog. Carefully find your way. Exhale to downward dog for five breaths. You may do a little refinement if needed and then hold steady. Focusing the breath into the heart. Love and grief together at the heart center. One more deep wave of breath. Exhale, press your hands to bring weight back into your legs. Keep that uplift in the belly as you step forward and halfway lift. Change your hands if you need to. Breathe out, slowly forward fold, tuck your chin. Inhale, standing. This process, this journey between one position and the next. Exhale, arms float down into the sides of your body, gently grounding into you. Just like that, again, inhale, slowly reach up, ground your front ribs. Exhale, let your knees bend as needed. Curl your face towards your legs. And then the top of your head begins to lengthen out as you come to half lift. Exhale, other leg back first, and add the elbow bend to your plank pose. Upward facing dog, slowly. You can always take another breath in here if you need it. And exhale, move from your pelvis back to down dog, five breaths. Only change if you really have something uncomfortable. If you'd like to add a little bit of side to side movement with your hips on this one, you may. Let's move the pelvis side to side. Find center again, reach your heart towards the earth gently, not too deeply. You don't want to force that back bending position. And exhale, long spine, head down. Inhale, step forward and half lift. Exhale, fold in. And inhale, up to standing. Stretch it up and release it down. And now adding some other positions. The Utkatasana position, bend your knees, reach your arms. Inhale. Shoulders down, stay. Breathe. Nice open feet. Reach your hips back like you're going into a chair. And one more exhale. Low with the hips, reach with the arms. And then inhale to stand. Exhale to forward fold for five breaths. And catch your elbows, your big toes, whichever one you'd like today. Head down, belly up. Make sure you make space for your breath in each pose. Be determined, but also move your body if you feel like you can't breathe deeply. Give yourself some room. Breathe out one more time. And then bend it, bring down your hands and step back your legs. Let's come to the side plank on the right. You can bring your knee down on your lower leg if you need it. And take the arm like a rainbow overhead for five. Use your whole body here, four. 
a determined press into the earth. And last breath. Other side, try to meet the challenge, softening anything you can, your face, your hand, but push the earth. Active legs, active belly. Very good. Fourth breath already, just one more. And then release to center and to downward dog, or if you want to come to your knees, take quarter dog instead. One more breath. Maybe just notice how you warmed up into this shape now. Perhaps it's a bit easier or just flows a little better with the energy as you return to it. Step your right leg forward to warrior A. Angle your back heel. Press into your feet to rise and square your hips towards the front. Have a moment for that transition. Into your coat sleeves, so relax your shoulders down. Inhale, arms up, gaze up. Just about 80% of effort. Shoulders draw down, tailbone tucks a little bit. Three. Exhale, release down your hands. Open up to B variation, turn out your toes, reach from the back. Turn your head, keep your knees centered. Dropping into the present moment, knowing it's impermanent. And exhale, Trans transition to down dog or quarter dog. Letting calmness wash over. Breathe out one more time with some uplift in the low belly. And that helps you find that step forward to warrior A, angle back heel, really press the front foot, especially to come up and square your pelvis, bringing it downward. Empty out your coat sleeves. Shoulders stay down, arms up. You can take an upward gaze if it doesn't stay in your eyes or your brain. Just keep it on the nose instead. So many things going on here. Notice your feet spreading, your hands resting together, and everything in between. And breathe out when you're ready, bring down your hands. Warrior B, the back toes, take the hip out to the side, so that turn out. Not changing a lot today. Turn your face to look up your front hand. Try to create steadiness wherever you land in the shape today. Exhale. Breathe in and transition to wide parallel feet facing the right side of your neck. And work your heel toe position so you get wide and breathe in with the left spine. And breathe out, draw the belly up as you fold forward. Walking both arms out to the right leg. Just wrap up around your right leg. Don't lock your knees. Keep them a little soft to breathe. Head relaxing down. Move the breath through your body once more. Come to center and over to your other leg. Wrap around. Head down, gentle uplift in the belly, and even waves of breath.
Make sure you're not straining your hands or anything right now. Breathe out one more time. Come to center. Let's open a triangle pose with the right leg. So turn it out to the right and then stand up into triangle pose. Give yourself a moment. We you know this one. Work from your navel center and have a long neck. Listen to your breathing. Exhale. And let's come back carefully to the light hold. So we have that opportunity to grow to triangle on the other side with that left foot heading towards the front of the mat. Just have the feet ready so you have your foundation and then turn on your legs. Work up into the triangle and sit up from above, coming from below. Long spine. Letting the standing poses be grounding as your feet make deep prints into the earth. Fourth breath out. And fifth. Breathe in, come up, and come into Karsva Kanasana, the knee over the ankle, lean and reach pose. If you want to come down to the earth, I've been experimenting on the inside of the foot recently. Just make sure you keep your shoulder off your ear. Trust feet to spread instead of grip. Last breath. It's a big pose. Let the breath match it. And a strong inhalation to come up. Straighten out your knee. Other side, turn, bend your knee. Lean and reach as you are ready for five breaths. Much to concentrate on, plus add a little softness. And breathe out. Inhale, come up and take reverse warrior on the same sides. You can work your hands to cow face arms if you'd like, or just take one arm back overhead. Aurora, Aurora, I hear the puppy. Thank you. Okay, Aurora's waking up from his nap. Sorry. Breathe out. Change to the other side for the reverse warrior shape. Last one in the sequence. Find the warrior B, and then take your arms into your preferred shape. Exhale, last time. Inhale, releasing half and out. And stepping to the top of your mat or to a place where you need a little support for tree pose into figure four. Starting with the right leg, turning out to the side. So that shift of weight, a sense of lengthening out of your standing leg when you shift. You bring your leg to the other one. Whatever it feels fun and positive today. Okay, I know. Center yourself. Yeah, I first. Relax what you can. If your branches want to rise, allow them. Just one more slow breath. With an option to stay in tree for five more or transition to a figure four, bending your straight leg. So just be very mindful, working with yourself. It's a 
Three, two more breaths. And last one, stay steady as possible. Inhale to come out. And shifting weight the other side. Have your support if you need to turn around, that's fine. In your tree, your Vikstasana. Starting about a five count. Whatever your hands are most supportive today. You can have tight rope arms out to the sides. Overhead if you want to branch. Just stay present with this shape for one more breath. With the option to stay for five or to transition to figure four. And we'll just be relaxed if you would need to come out, just come back in. You know, keep it light, keep it positive. And let this pose bring you into that wonderful concentration of now. Golden present moment. Last time. Press your legs straight and release. Time to transition down to the earth. One more reach up to the sky. We star pose. Just reach your arms, reach through your legs into the earth. Next time you breathe out, a careful fold into forwardness. Bend your knees to bring down your hands and take your legs back and your knees down. Coming to cat spine on the fingertips. Round spine, tuck your head, tuck your tail, fingertips. Try to rest the tops of your feet into the earth. And send one more breath into the back of your body. And release your spine from that shape to forearms for cow spine. So you'll probably land just about right. Just a little heart and face forward with the low back flat. Put your hands spread, eyes center, tip of nose or third eye. Last time. And then just take your legs back one at a time to the balls of the feet and lower to your belly. Release your feet. Doing our, our super people pull downs. So hands into fists when you exhale. But when you inhale, just reach your arms overhead, gaze downward. Exhale, squeeze and pull your hands to your shoulders. Lift your spine. Relax, inhale. Exhale, lift and pull. Squeeze and activate. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Twice more. Creating strength. And then once more. And relax. They know me that I'm going to have a little something still after something like that. Downward facing triple diamond pose is an energy yoga pose. So the first diamond is our arms, elbows out to the sides. The second one is our hands. And then the third one is our feet and legs. So my feet do not come to the floor in this position. So knees are wide, feet together. So they just kind of rest into each other in the air. But you may bring your feet towards the floor or on the floor. Rest your head down into the space of your hands. Draw your shoulders down. And just relax into the shape. With an opportunity to just meet your emotions where they are. 
And we have the earth right here. So we have a chance to release energy of the motion into the earth. And downward facing is good for sadness and grief, just to let those tears drip downward and in, into the earth and be received. Just anything that resonates in that realm. About three more slow rounds of breath. And exhale one more time. Releasing your knees closer together and your hands by your chest to press up to upward facing dog. And back to downward facing dog, just one breath. And then to come through and sit down. And Taking um, Ardha Matsya Andrasana with the right knee forward and the left foot on the earth coming across. Let's see if you can bring your, let's see, that's your right foot in close to your hip. And your left ankle is close to your right knee. Sit up tall, hold your knee. Exhale to twist, looking back. If you'd like to use your hand to help draw your foot in, you can rest your palm on the K1 energy of the root of the big toe for further grounding quality. Six, two more breaths. And let it go slowly, setting up the other side. Just creating the shape. Meet this side right where it is. Sometimes there's a high side and an easy side. Just I try to be okay with all. Tucking in your left foot close to your hip with your hand on the root of your big toe. Sitting up tall and looking back to twist. Eight breaths. Soft breathing, but steady. And just complete one more round. And release, coming to your back. So have the option for a little later, have two blocks or a blanket for supported fish. Also totally okay to do it without any props. But come on down and we're gonna start with a deep two knees twist. First, just arrive on your back body, hind center. Feel the back of your skull, center. Down to your back body. And exhale. So this is a very structured two knees over to one side twist where we actually come over to the left side of your hips. So let your hips pick up, shift over to the side and roll all the way to the left. Just your upper body as needed. And then bring your knees so they're coming right out of your pelvis if possible, 90 degrees. 
Rest them together, add something between if you need, and then turn and look away. And today, instead of just resting in the shape, let's, let's actively see if we can create some more twist by taking your left arm to your left, to your top leg or your hip or your low back a little bit, and just encourage the lower body to twist away from the upper body. A lot can relax though. Breathe as you gently hold. But with a little bit of depth today, trying to make some space happen in the upper back. And one more deep breath. Exhale, soften these actions and return to the back of your body and pause. Shift your hips back to center, be still. Breath up and down on the spine. Second side, so there's that little bridge up. Shift your hips over to the left and then roll over to your right side of your hips all the way. Make sure your upper body isn't stuck in any way and then bring your knees 90 degrees out of your pelvis. So straight ahead, stack them on top of each other and then turn your head and your left arm out. So the right hand now just rests on the leg or the hip or at the low back and just encourages it towards the knees. So you're trying to draw your low body away from your upper body. Just the right amount, three, five times. Deep, but not forcing, not harming. Inhale for four. And just notice where you feel this in your body and breathe there one more time. Where are you trying to soften? Breathe into it. Carefully release everything back and that hip shift back to center, rest your spine. So looking at bridge pose as a way of stretching the, tra the trapezius down the back, those upper, upper back muscles at the, at the base of the neck and stretch the neck. So in bridge pose, press up and then try to bring yourself more towards your head, press with your feet a little bit. So you feel your neck lengthening Head stay centered on the back of the skull, but this position helps kind of hold the upper back down, stretching there on the neck. Keeping kind of an 80% with the bridge, open feet, lift your hips. Then inhale, release your arms up straight in front of you. So reach towards the sky Refine in your upper back, so you're putting a little extra pressure on your upper back. You're kind of flattening out any roundness there with this position. Just a bit longer. You might feel some strengthening around your hips and that's good. One more deep breath. Bring down your arms first so they can support that release of your body. Let go of the muscles around your hips as you come on down. And then bring your knees in to relieve them. Taking stirrup pose, so coming to a yin version of happy baby, holding on where you feel nice today. Inner outer feet, wrap behind the knees and just make sure your neck is long and then rest. Feeling that grounding into the low back. Relax your muscles as much as possible. Just 
gently breathing. Taking about five more breaths. If you'd like to do a little re-engagement of muscles and playing with the pose, you may. Some side to side rocks or stay still if you're happy where you are. And exhale. Bring down your feet, stretch out your legs and reach your arms overhead just to lengthen out the front of the hips, the front of the body. So this is a little tiny back bend here where we're just lengthening the front body equals back bend. One more time, breathe and stretch. And then coming to supported fish pose. So I'll start with the on the ground with no props. Just bring in your feet, bring out your arms to the sides and just let this position naturally bring a little bit of arch to your spine, a little lift at your heart. Stay there. If you'd like to come up and arrange some props, we're gonna stay for a little while. So a folded blanket that's rolled a little bit or just has a fold to it. Probably have a sense of how much of a back bend you might like in your body. And a soft blanket will be really pretty comfortable. There's a whole tutorial that's just a few minutes long on my YouTube about this pose too. So I have two blocks. I'm gonna nestle my shoulder blades on one and my head on the second one and then rest the arms open. So just make sure that you are comfortable and not forced into something too deep. The leg position is up to you. Some options are the easy cross legs, straight legs, bent knees, and relax. This is a restorative yoga pose. Let go of your efforts. Let's breathe into your heart center. feeling supported by the earth, by any props. Continue to create those even waves of breath. And let the breath explore. If you have tightness at the fronts of your shoulders where your chest and shoulders come together, wherever you feel anything stuck or tight, just let the breath gently travel there. Notice how inhales will create some stretching and exhales create an opportunity for softening. If you'd like to add a little gratitude meditation, this is a nice, another heart chakra goes the seat of gratitude. If you have easy cross legs at this point, give them a switch to the other way. 
if possible, or just have a, a second position with the legs option. And if stillness is challenging for you, just continue to be patient with yourself. You can tell your brain if it has any questions, just say, trust this process, take this opportunity to be still. Relax and breathe. Mindful. Mindfulness of where your body touches the earth and where it doesn't. Texture and rhythm of your breathing. The ability to notice when your mind starts to wander away from now and gently draw it back with the evenness of breath. Just a little bit longer. Nice to know there's some time left. Just one more time, stay completely with the pose, breathe. Right. Gratitude, thank you, last breath for now. And maybe swallow whenever that comes up if you feel you need to. So here, let's transition carefully to the soles of the feet and to um, the elbows. So lift that off your support and come to your forearms and you can leave your blocks where they are or your blanket. Um, Cindy Lee, she's a pretty well-known yoga teacher I've gotten to study with, but she calls this beach chair position. So we're gonna just come out with the feet a little bit. Make sure that you're comfortable. If you need to move blocks out of the way, that's fine. And we'll take the legs into windshield wipers both knees to the right, both knees to the left. So my, my block ended up kind of under my back still, so I moved it out. Feel comfortable. Go a few more times, keeping your neck neutral and comfortable. Lifting out of the shoulders and come back to center seeing about lifting up our hips in this position. So instead of with our hands on the floor, we have hands and elbows down, press your feet, see if you can bridge a little bit. Try another time. A little determined, doesn't have to be high. And one more time, exhale, come on down. Second one, legs come out. Adjust your arms so they're in close to your body and try to lift up to Purvatanasana with your elbows on the floor. So this is new for me as well. Just trying to activate your legs and lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, lift a little bit. A little fast breath, three, four, and then exhale, five, come on down and relax. And then one hand at a time, straightening up, coming to Paschimottanasana slowly, going the other way. So we stretch to forward fold seated, drawing back the toes, drawing back the belly. Your knees might be bent. One way to support is to bring your arms behind your legs. Deep breaths, calm, fully folding. And just letting yourself have a chance to go from that Pretty deep backbending shape of supported fish to here. Pushing yourself forward. And lift 
just a little bit, breathe in. And exhale one more time, all the way into your forgiveness. Inhale, come up and lie down. Be sure to move your props out of the way for Halasana, Cloud Pose, or legs in the ears. Knees back, lift your legs, bring them overhead to any degree. So you can stop where you need to. You can have your hips down and just draw your legs towards you or pick up your hips as well. And wherever your arms feel supported today, at the back of your pelvis or on the floor, or holding onto the legs is also fine. We're just doing the same position, but with our legs on top instead of our heads. Five, three more breaths. Last one, come down slowly. Bring your knees into your chest to lengthen your low back and stretching out for Shavasana, our final pose. Resting pose, a little arranging time as needed. A quick scan to see if you're okay where you landed. And then if you need to change anything, you can. And do whatever you need to feel like you can be still here if you need some support in here, a warmth or cushioning. Resting in the bliss generated from the practice. Sense of balance. You can bring it back in a couple minutes, okay? Thank you. I'm completely still. Suck your breath, of course. On the slope behind the house today, I cut through roots and rocks and dug a hole deep and wide, carted away from it each stone and all that freeable thin earth. Then I knelt there a moment, walked in the woods, bent down again, using a trowel in both my hands to scoop black decaying wood soil with the warm smell of fungi from the trunk of a rotting chestnut tree. Two heavy buckets full I carried back to the hole and planted the tree inside. Carefully, I covered the roots with peaty soil, slowly poured sun-warmed water over them, muddying them gently until the soil settled. It stands there, young and small, We'll go on standing when we are gone and the huge uproar, endless urgency and fearful delirium of our days forgotten. The foam will bend it, rainstorms tear at it, the sun will laugh, let snow lay it down. The siskin and the nuthatch make it their home and the silent hedgehog burrow at its foot. All it has ever experienced, tasted, suffered, the years, the course of years, generations of animals, oppression, recovery, 
friendship of sun and wind, will pour forth each day in the song of its rustling foliage, in the friendly gesture of its gently swaying crown, in the delicate sweet scent of resinous sap moistening the sleep blue buds, and in the eternal game of lights and shadows, it plays with itself content. Slowly returning to movement and sitting. Give this process a little time for transition. Deepen your breathing. Release your stillness and return. Pausing to feel complete with your practice today here. Gratitude for all. you for joining me today. Namaste. You may observe that the practice prepares you for meditation. If you have time to stay or know that you have practiced meditation as part of our yoga time 